What is up, YouTube? Welcome back, welcome back. I'm the Pew Pew Black Belt, aka Mr. X, and today I'm making a Thanksgiving Day video. You see, got the pumpkin there. What do you got? What do you do, what do, you do with that pumpkin there, Mr. X? We're gonna make some pumpkin pie, baby. And um, today, the gun that we're gonna be showcasing today, I haven't done a full review on this gun yet. So the I got the Smith & Wesson Model 29, aka my Dirty Harry gun, out today to play. And uh, we're gonna try to catch a couple hollow point bullets here. I'll show you what I got on the table here. All right, this is what we got today for playing. We got the Hornady Levolutions, the 44 Magnum, 225 grain, FTX. And then we got this Barnes Vortex, 44 Rim Mag, 22, 225 grain. Um, yeah, they're both hollow points, obviously. And then we got some uh, cowboy rounds here, the 44 Special, and then we got some Magnum rounds here. But uh, yeah, and uh, we're gonna have some fun. Let's get to it. Alrighty, I had so much fun with that nine millimeter video. If you guys haven't seen that nine millimeter video, go check it out. I, I did a test on a bunch of hollow points for a nine millimeter, and uh, I just wanted to test out my 44 my 44 Magnum now. But uh, we're gonna test out the first one. We're gonna test out in the water. This is me the Hornady Levolution, and uh, let's get to it, huh? It does make quite the mess. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna get wet. Please say we shot it. Please say we shot the bullet. Oh, I hear a bullet. Yeah, buddy. We got one. Let's see how bad it. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna set my gun down here. Ugh. Holy Hannah. I am so. What's up? Alright, I was just checking to see if I could see find the tip. But um, that's what the Hornady Levolution turned out like all right let's get the next bullet and do another test here and uh yeah let's have some fun all righty with the hornadies we got through four jugs let's see what the barnes vortex does all right let's get to it say that one wasn't as big of an explosion as uh the hornady but i did definitely get more wet <laughs> my leg is just so all right let's see if we caught that bullet eh got in there man am i so oh it fell out there she is is there anything in here nothing in here it actually went all the way through, just bounced off the fourth one. So we went through one, two, three, bounced off the fourth. I'll show you guys what it looked like. It mushroomed pretty good. Definitely didn't penetrate as far as uh, the Hornady though. All right, let's get on to the next fun project here. All right. Alrighty, I got my cowboy gun loaded up with some cowboy rounds. Let's get to it. Alrighty, y'all, we're at 50 yards now. I got the uh, um, Ammo Incorporated 44 Magnum loaded up in here. And uh, yeah, let's ring steel at 50. I'm gonna blame those misses earlier on the water on my glass. I did clean my glass off. You look back at the video, you'll see I had some water on there, so. All right, let's ring steel at 50 here. You guys see okay?
Hey, as you can tell, I can ring steel at 50. No problem. I don't know if you guys saw that fireball and I hope you guys did. The camera angle is pretty bad, so I reset up there for you for the last four. I did have one miss. Not too bad, though. I'll put that one down. Whatever. But all right, let's go make some pumpkin pie. All righty. Um, we're going to shoot the... We're going to make pumpkin pie with the barns hollow point. I just like the way that one mushroomed. I think it's going to dissipate more right into that first target because it seemed like the hornady over penetrated it went to that fourth water jug as this stopped right at the three at the third water jug so i'm hoping this will make the biggest impact on that pumpkin and uh, make us some delicious pumpkin pie all right let's get to it all righty so i am going to go a little closer because i'm hoping that a little bit of the muzzle too will help make that puree that pumpkin to give us the best pumpkin pie all right so we're gonna get a little closer than normal. Let's make some delicious pumpkin pie, baby. What? Man, I should have filled that I should have filled this sucker up with something. Let's see what the back of it looks like. Oh no! Oh no! Mama's gonna be mad. I ruined it. Oh no. Oh, there's guts in the back. Not as impressive as I thought. I was kind of expecting that because I did have a video. I was shooting a pumpkin for Halloween. Wasn't that impressive? Man, I guess I really messed up on that one. All right, the video is coming to an end. Like I said before, happy Thanksgiving. Oh, I have a lot to be thankful for. I'm just happy that my eye, my eye vision came back. I'm um, happy I have a healthy family. I'm just happy that everything's going right in my life right now. And I just hope it keeps going that way. And um, I wish you guys a happy, I wish you guys all the best of thanks too. Thank you for everything. I hope you guys, everything keeps going smoothly for all you guys too out there. And um, enough of this sappy stuff. But what's your favorite dishes for Thanksgiving? I really love that turkey. Um, this year, I'm smoking a turkey this year. Oh, I can't wait. But uh, I really love my mom's mashed potatoes that she makes. She makes really good sweet potatoes. Oh, yes. With the marshmallows on top. Oh, it's so good. And that uh, fruit salad. That's one of my favorites too. But what are you guys' favorites? Leave a comment down below. What are your favorite dishes for Thanksgiving? I tell you what, I love the cheesy potatoes with the um, the the flakes on top. The fr the flakes, not frosted flakes, but corn flakes on top. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm just getting hungry. Just think about it. I'm sure you guys are getting hungry too. But man, I love Thanksgiving. I'm very thankful for all of you. I'm very thankful for everything around me right now. I'm very blessed. Um, looks like my uh, pumpkin pie did not turn out like I wanted it to. So I'm gonna have to go pick one up there for mom. But um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all y'all. Please give me that thumbs up and I hope you guys subscribe, stay in contact and see future and current videos. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video.